Hey, what up, YouTube family, man? I got another one for you, man. I got a really good question for you guys today, man. How long can you play with fire before you realize that you could potentially get burned? This lady, <laughs> as you can see the title, right? How I got herpes. She was dealing with a guy, right? Who she knew because he told her that he had herpes. So, you know, they were just being careful and whatever the case may be. Uh, she's a better person than I would because I would fucking run like my life depended on it. Somebody tell me that shit, but whatever. She's a good human being, right? So she kept dealing with this dude, right? And uh, I'm gonna play the video for you. <laughs> this is the story of how I ended up getting herpes. So I was seeing a guy for a short while before he told me that he had herpes. Um, we'd had this conversation. He was very responsible. I appreciate that he did that. A lot of people be out there lying. And he had initially lied to me and insisted that he was clean. One night he has a drunken meltdown and he tells me that it's herpes. I freak out, don't sleep with him that night, leave, make a doctor's appointment, go to my doctor. She agrees to test me, even though that's not routinely done. I didn't have any symptoms. So you can't go to a doctor and be like, yo, I want to get an STD test? What do you mean? He took a lot of time to assure me that it really wasn't a big deal. But just to give you a little background, fire her it absolutely is a big deal i'd always up to that point referred to herpes as the plague and that people that had it were untouchable so i was a bit shocked when my doctor was not that concerned that I well of course she's not concerned she sees the worst of the worst I told a couple of other doctors that i knew and they also were not that concerned even though they were sleeping with me oh man my girl get around man even the doctors are sleeping with your girl i would say i got next man but the way you're looking girl mm -mm, i don't think so man well, my blood test result came back and it was negative and then I felt kind of bad then and I kind of liked this guy and I thought maybe I had judged him a little too harshly. And How are you supposed to feel bad when you sleep with somebody and then they confess to you that you got herpes and then it comes out and you will get tested and you don't got it? You're supposed to feel very good. You're supposed to feel relieved. <laughs> maybe I should give him more of a chance, especially after the meltdown that he had. I kind of felt terrible. We're together for a year and a half, not always careful. You're gonna give him another chance, girl. That's God giving you a chance. You've been sleeping with this dude who confessed on a drunken meltdown that he had herpes, that he had an STD that you cannot cure. It don't go away. It follow you to the day you die. You go get tested, and your test negative. That's God giving you a second chance, girl. But let's see where this goes. I routinely get blood tested. They all come back negative. He has one outbreak during our year and a half relationship. And um, during that time, we just didn't sleep together. After a year and a half, I break up with them. I get a blood test again, and it's negative. Woo! Yeah, girl! Oh, man, you're good. <laughs> and there are times I wish the story ended there, but on the other hand, you wouldn't be getting these videos right now had I just never seen him again. But a couple months later... We appreciate your sacrifice. We're talking again, and he's really, really insistent. I'm just, I'm just wanting to get together, just to talk, just to talk one night. So I agree. And we end up doing a little bit more than talking. Oh, of course you do. Two weeks later, I have what appears to look like a pimple that's not going away. So I get it tested. And sure enough, the swab comes back positive. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Yo, I can't make this up. Yo, how many chances didn't she get to walk away from the situation, bro? She just kept coming back like, nah, man, I'm gonna get burned. Like, if that's what you wanted from the beginning, it wasn't that hard, girl. Like, you just had to sleep when we were flaring up. I'm not gonna lie, there's always gonna be a part of me that believes he chose that particular night because he wanted to infect me with the hopes of me staying with him after I got infected. That's messed up. That's messed up. And I'm going to tell you something. If I was a betting man, I'm pretty sure that that's exactly what he did. Because a lot of dudes is, man, a lot, a lot of guys are built like that. Yeah, ladies better be careful out there, man. There's certain guys that will get a girl pregnant, man, just so she don't leave them. Right? They'll, she'll break up with them. They'll try to make up. They meet up one day, you know. Uh, they have sex. And the guy will literally intentionally come inside the girl just to knock her ass up so she can't leave them. Which that never works. So it's crazy to me that people do that. Because that did work. And I stayed with him for months after that because I had still associated herpes with being an untouchable. And I really fear that a lot of people feel that way and stay in toxic relationships because they don't think they can never get love anywhere else. I'm here to tell you that's just not true. She's actually right. I did another video about this uh, guy that knowingly married a woman with herpes. I'm gonna leave the description below and I'm gonna leave it on top at the end so you guys can watch that one. And also to tell you that the stigma is much, much worse than the actual virus. COVID is much worse than herpes and I will die on that hill. Oh, hell no, man. I'd rather die of COVID. Now you ain't gonna come over here and tell me that, man. I'd rather get COVID a hundred times before I get the herpes. <laughs> if you don't agree with me, please show me the evidence. 
I don't need to show you the evidence. I'm good on that. I'll take my chances with COVID. Yeah, that's crazy, man. People nowadays, man, have no dignity, man. They got no self-respect. I'm sorry, people, man. If you come to me, I don't give a fuck if you got a cold sore. I remember when I was single way back in the day, man, if I ever met a girl that even had a cold sore, because a cold sore is herpes. It's type 1 herpes, but nobody really, you know, you know, nobody really care like that about a cold sore. You feel me? Because it should be like some, like, rough spot on your lip. It don't, it don't be looking too crazy, but sometimes it do, you know? So a lot of the times, so I remember back in the day, you look at a girl, and the first thing they'll tell you, like, oh, no, it's just a cold sore. You know, I got them in the winters and stuff like that. And I'm like... I know what that is. Don't tell me you get it in the winter. I get a cold in the winter. You know what I'm saying? I don't get no cold sores, man. I never had a cold sore in my life. And I can wait. I hope I never get one. But, you know, back in the day, I remember, man, if I saw a girl with a cold sore, I'm like, yup, no way. I don't care. She could have been fucking J-Lo in her prime, bro. And I'm like, nope, disqualified. We gonna be friends. <laughs> but anyways, people, man, be careful out there who you deal with, man. A lot of people be out there, man, having sex with just anybody. But uh, in this case, well... He lied at first, but eventually he came clean. But a lot of the times, people do disclose it. And the people that do, shout out to them, man. You guys are the real MVPs, man, because you really shouldn't play with people's safety and health like that. All right? But anyways, people, if you like this channel, I'm talking to make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.